And so that's how these relationships are started. It's about two people just setting aside all this fake nonsense and the idea that we have to be perfect, that we have to be manly and macho. And one of them, one of those two people, which I challenge it to be you, just opening up. As Jonathan just mentioned, this idea of exposing weakness and having a fear of exposing that weakness because it could be manipulated. And so what we have now is we have two parties, both are scared, both have weaknesses, but both don't want to talk about it. So what do you do? One of you has to go first. The reason why it's so important for men to connect on a deeper level, uh, you, you've all heard iron sharpens iron, but really it's in those deep conversations, those deep connections made between one uh, man and another that that iron is sharpened. And there's this idea, I love this, this phrase it's called puddle love. And it's the idea that you can drown in three inches of water. It's three inches of water, you can drown in it. And that's where 99% of our conversations live. And I think when you really lock into this idea of how relationships are built, even if you're not going through some type of struggle right during that time, you'll realize by doing this, that by exposing the weaknesses or the things that you've gone through, you'll create that space, which is what the last Modern Man Live is all about. You'll create that space for that person to talk about what they're going through. Nobody's going deep because everyone's afraid to talk about what's really going on. What I've found is by avoiding those three inch conversations, by instantly going deep with people, by just first myself being transparent and then allowing them and creating that space for them to be vulnerable as well, is where the magic happens. And I think we need community. We need other men that we can surround ourselves with to be able to have the conversations that aren't had on a regular basis, to be able to have the conversations that are usually left untold. And I think it's through those conversations, it's through that space created amongst men when they get together and can be honest and vulnerable and transparent with one another, it's through those conversations that we will ultimately become the best versions of each of ourselves. We talk about this idea of holding space for people. And, and to be able to do so, you have to be vulnerable up front because people need help in being vulnerable. Like they need to hear you talk about something that's uncomfortable for them to have the willingness to do the same. Because it's real. And people don't wanna have real conversations and make real connections. But when you see that friend, you're like, how you doing, man? I'm great. What are they gonna say? How are you doing? They're gonna say, great. But if you respond when they say, man, how you doing? Man, not, not that well. I'm struggling in this one area of my life. What's gonna happen when you get done talking? You say, well, how are you? They're not gonna say great, because it'd be kind of a dick move. So how are you doing with that? I'm great. No, they're gonna, they're, gonna talk, they're gonna talk about whatever area that they're struggling with. And now you're both able to lean in on each other and help one another, point them in the right direction. Um, you don't always have the answers, but you probably know someone that does. So it's, it's creating those environments so that we can have these conversations that aren't easy, but that are extremely, extremely important. And the only way we will become better men is by having better conversations. And I think those conversations are the ones that are real and raw and, and vulnerable and transparent.